Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 23 of Delicious Party Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Let me put this thing down so I don't get distracted by it, Jesus. <laughs> That looks good. I'm guessing it's curry. Curry. Yeah, remember? So usually she's always alone. <laughs> Is it just me? Oh, okay. So when friends ask this, I'm not offended by it. But I was, there was, I think this is a couple of years ago. I, I have a friend, um, and her family members were over. And normally, um, my mom, of course, works at night and such. And you know, when little kids are very curious, um, about certain things, and you know how when their parents don't stop them and it becomes hella awkward, that kind of happened. So since, like I said, my mom works at nights. And stuff. I was hanging out with one of my girlfriends. Fr um, and stuff. She was staying the night over. And her little brother. <laughs> was like. He, he asked me questions. And then he asked me. Oh do you get lonely sometimes? And I'm thinking like. Number one. Why the heck are you asking me that? Two. Like. Sometimes. So I was like. Mm. Sometimes I lied. And sometimes I didn't lie. But I was like. How the fuck am I not supposed to be offended about this shit? Like, hello, child. But, I mean, you know, kids at a certain age, yeah, they don't freaking know. But still, it, it's always the parents' right to say, hey, don't say that and such. And hell, maybe her mom did say something to her little brother in the car when they were all the way home. Who freaking knows? But yeah, don't say that! <laughs> That's so offensive! She's so pretty. Is it burning? Oh, okay, thank God.
It's not food. It's makeup. Oh, baby. Well, depending on what water you have. So. <laughs> Yeah, because y'all have been so busy with both of your jobs, it's hard for you to... You guys are different. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's very different for her parents. You gotta think about the very last time before now since she's seen her parents. That's what she's supposed to do with her mom. Okay, I gotta say it. Her her sister looks like um, what like an older version of what's her face for Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl mode, mm -hmm. Kira Gelato. Like, especially the way her hair looks. But it's cute. I love the fact that Mary's in the adult talk. That's so cute! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hmm.
so sweet and she's just repaying her for it. Oh my god. Excuse me. You would also think it would affect her dad, but since her dad is so far away and nowhere near her, so of course not. Oh my god, this keeps, like, oh. When you mess it up, it just goes somewhere else. There we go, that's better. <laughs> oh that's one down three to go
I like that, you know, consistency. Two episodes in a row, he shows up! See, that kind of makes me not want donuts, but see, I'm not going out. <laughs> it's Sunday. I gotta get it done. <laughs> oh, crazy was. He always watch him. It's like Hannah's boyfriend, too, as well. Hannah's boyfriend was always watching, so. So cute. Mm -mm. It's never selfish to want to spend time with your parents. Smile, it's a fucking adorable savvy.
Send them off with a smile. This was a cute freaking episode. I'm sorry. That was too good. To have a family-focused episode about Kokone and just her parents just wanting to know what she's into. It's very similar to like when, yes, if your parent has a job and maybe they're, you know, they're in the military or they do go out of the country a lot. Like it could be a, uh, I cannot speak, a high paying job where they're not always with you and you do feel lonely, but you just don't have a way of quote unquote expressing yourself about that loneliness. So, but you can express it with your friends. Um, and such and eventually your parents just go out and they try to find out okay well what does she he or she likes and stuff and you know sometimes for certain parents it is a little hard to do that because you know when you are a teenager going on into an adult and your parent is trying to have a relationship with you um it's either one or two things are going to happen they're going to still try to treat you like you are still that kid and such, but you're like in your mind you're like, hey, I'm not a kid anymore, so da 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 whatever. Um or it's just maybe still once again difficult for them. Uh you know, because in a way for me, I'm kinda in that situation with my dad. Um like my mom and I we're we're like this. That that's two peas in a pod and stuff. My dad and I are like this too, but it's just different and such there there are times where like it, it's a little hard for me and him to kind of communicate with oh I'm about to have a fight next week. Oh my god, Lord Jesus, what? Oh, it's, it's about to be another. It, well, it's a typical magical girl anime fight because, of course, it, it well, okay, d d not delicious. Healing Good did this with uh, Rabinine and um, Nadoka, and I thought that was really good. And it paid like very good homage to like any other magical girl anime that, like, immediately when I was watching it the first time, I got car captures curl vibes. And that was mainly because, you know, you had an episode where, like, both Sakura and Kiro, they fought. And that was, like, the cutest thing ever because it's like, okay, yeah, you know, you gotta fight. But I think it's gonna be even cuter because it's the mascots because we've never really had that. Well, technically we've had, but I think it's just gonna be too freaking cute. Like, oh my god. <laughs> but, I mean, for Kokone, her episode with her parents is really good. I think this just, uh, it showed a lot of kids... And even people my age where it's like, hey, it's okay to still try to have a relationship with your family and especially your parents who do work in these very, very high paying jobs, get a lot of money and they still don't have time for you. But they do try to make time for you and want to still get to know you as a person because you are their kid. There is, like I said, there are some parents who don't really want to do that and to get to know their kid. And then they wonder why when their kid gets older, why their kid doesn't want to have anything to do with them. So at the end of the story, moral of the day, be kind to your kids. Always be there for your kids no matter what, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Even if you cannot be there the first time, always like second, third, or fourth, try to be there. Because that affects a kid in their life, especially when they become a teenager going into adulthood very much so a lot but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 23 of delicious party pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 24 bye guys